Yo, what's up? Here we have the Peugeot 2008. This is the bigger version of the Peugeot 208 that I tested earlier. So in this video, I will show you how much space we have. I will do a little walkthrough of the interior to give you guys an impression of how is this car. So let's uh, start. Well, you know, let's start with the trunk this time or the hood or the bonnet. Wow, it has a pretty big hood. I mean, a frontal area. Oh, wow. Okay, this one has to go here. Well, they, as usual, they make something that resembles a fossil engine. Do you have anyone, anything here? Nah. So the E2008 is built on fossil drivetrain and uh, chassis and everything. You know? So that's why it's, um, yeah, it's not uh, optimized for space, unlike a Tesla. So uh, Tesla is one of the few EVs that is built as an EV from ground up. So um, unfortunately, there's no front here. You see, the French opening, easy access to lift up the 12 volt. <laughs> okay, let's look in the back then. The trunk is like this. It's fairly large. We have these charging cables, we have to take them out. And we also have some room under here. But since this is not, oh, since this is not the banana box test, well, actually, this one can be removed. I don't know why it's even here because then, well, I think most people, they don't drive around without this cover. It looks a little bit ugly. So we'll keep this one on before we do the measurement. Yeah, something like this. Should we take out the partial shelf? Yeah, let's just take it out. So it's easier to, uh, to see. There we go. And now let's measure. So from, uh, from the ground up until the loading position is about 75 centimeters. And then the depth here is, well, how do we, how do we measure it? Well, actually it has, it has this edge, I should mention, which is about uh, 12 centimeters. And then if you measure here, do an inside measurement, uh, 70 plus seven, 77 centimeters. Oh, that's kind of shallow. Well, that's, that's what she said. And then this one here is, let me see, 93, oh, 100 centimeters. Okay, and then the height here is 80 centimeters. And then many people want to know this length here, which is, yeah, is it 90? Well, it depends. Uh, maybe you should measure here where it actually opens. 82 centimeters. Now let's follow the seat. And after we follow the seat, there is a hump here, like many cars. But you can put this one. What is this? Carbon fiber? No, that's not carbon fiber. It's just some composite. And if you put it in the, see it has a low position, you put it in the high position, then you get the perfectly flat floor. That is always, always useful if you want to put something like a bicycle or furniture or something. But let's now measure uh, this distance to the front seat which is in a normal driving position, that's 160 centimeters. Ooh, that's, uh, that's not too bad. And then the passenger seat has been moved all the way forward. And there we have 183 centimeters. And then diagonal, in case you want to put some long items from Ikea or something. Oh, and this is not being very corporate today. There we go. Whoa, 205 centimeters. Not too bad. Ground clearance is 10 to 18. I'm not sure 18 or 19 centimeters. Since I'm a man, 19 centimeters. Let's make it 20. Okay, 19. And seat width is also important for many people. Let's check. Oh, it seems about the same as the E28. 123 centimeters. And then the seat height oh also feels like the same huh uh 35 centimeters and then comfort let's try wow yeah way more space than 28 yeah 28 is just too cramped in the back here 
So it's been a while since I tried the 2.8, but I feel like we have way more leg room here. So again, the dilemma with the tall people is that the legs will be more like this. But you see, you have lots of leg room and we have this panorama roof, gives a nice room there. Let's check, let's do space testing first. Oh, what about why well, it looks kind of dark. Everything is just dark because my, my head is dark. But let me try to give you a... Uh, yeah, it just looks dark, but I can show you here that, whoa, we don't even have a fist of clearance. It's just two or three fingers, something like that. And I'm 173 centimeters. I don't know how many times I've said it. <laughs> but okay, for the rest of the interior, uh, it's just hard plastic everywhere. This is the only piece that is soft. Everything else is just hard plastic. Well, okay, the seat is a night, but... Yeah, light, okay. Um, as for the back, okay, you have this one. Uh, there is no middle armrest here, unfortunately. Just one piece at least. The headrests are adjustable. That's good, like most EVs, and unless it's a Tesla. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go on the front then. Oh, for, okay, but I've almost forgot. We have two USB-A here and some pocket there behind the seat. So that's good. Okay. And the front seats are more or less like the, well, are they the same as the 2.8? I think so. And the steering wheel, let's check that one. It goes up and down, in and out. That is very nice. Oh, okay, I locked it. Okay, let's just put it in some position there. And this one only has the manual adjustment. I don't remember if it comes with electric adjustment. So you do, you do it like this, forward, backwards. This one is just to pump it. And then, just like the E28, in order to tilt a recline, you have to twist this knob here. I'm personally not a fan of it, but some people say, no, but that's safer. Okay, okay, whatever. I'll just show you what the, it has. And the seats, by the way, the front seats, they have nice side bolsters. Very nice for driving on twisty roads. But I feel like these seats fit better with the, well, or, I mean, uh, for the 2.8, the 2.8 has a more sporty ride. This one is more loose. But I um, forgot to show you a, a close-up of the rear seat. The rear seat looks a little bit flat, you see? It doesn't have much side support. So, um, yeah, but on the other hand, this car is not made for driving fast around twisty bends anyway. So, uh, on, so it's, it's good. These seats are perfect for this car. And here we have carbon fiber, what is it? I still don't know, is this real carbon fiber or fake carbon fiber? Because it has this nice texture as if it was real, but I bet it's fake. I mean, think about this. The whole interior looks cheap and hard. Why would they put real carbon fiber there, huh? <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, we have door pocket there, that's good. Um, so if you guys have seen that E28 before, you recognize this. This looks very similar to the E28. The steering wheel is also small, pretty cool. And you have to see over the steering wheel to see the instrument cluster. Most cars, they have a bigger steering wheel and then you, you see through it like his like this you know i still don't like that they only have they have engine start stop there is no engine in here get it right this one is just like the e28 infotainment screen you uh you can use three fingers to get into the home button and then you can choose uh, various uh, uh, applications like navigation or go in the vehicle or whatever and uh, you can also press these buttons here let's let me show you here you see that's the car setting, navigation, climate control, yeah. And you have also buttons here, this is a lock the car. So it's uh, interesting, looks a little bit classic, it doesn't look too modern. So whether you like it or not, but it's not my, my task to show you what I like or don't like. And here, just like the 2.8, you have wireless charging there for the phone. It can also take fairly big phones. Let me try my phone here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S9 
plus and uh, we have USB and oh, put my phone away we have USB a there USB C there under here we just have a storage for uh, stuff and here we have 12 volt outlet mm, noise we don't have 12 volt outlet back though we have this traditional gear stick here we have some cup holders they are small you see this is for French bottles if you ever been in Belgium or France I don't know why when you order a coke you get two deciliter of coke that's like Asian size is if this was a Tesla the cup holder would be huge to take the one gallon cup or half a gallon cup here we have space just like the E28 and I think this one you can yeah you see you can kind of deep fist in here so they just took the same you know they share most of the components wait was it in the over here that you could yeah this is a freaking deep one oh yeah look at that lots of space here so that's nice for putting your stuff there and let me show you uh oh, okay, okay okay there's so much stuff to show you here we have oh this is cheap yeah this this looks cheap oh will it break this thing here if you do it too hard but at least we have light here mm, nice and here you can hold cards or charging cards <laughs> Uh, this one will flip you go oh it's really hard to uh, yeah I noticed that it's super hard to, uh, to uh, even for me an Asian I struggle to to unhinge this thing look how holy guacamole I almost crashed the first time I tried to uh, open that one but it doesn't extend okay unfortunately and uh once again uh, yeah, uh, ooh, this is also perforated but just like the e28 but uh let me show you uh the the headroom yes important very important headroom again i'm 173 centimeters let's see how much whoa look at that that's more than one fist of headroom and i have this panorama roof you can open it here see if you want even more headroom <laughs> <laughs> but but um, in order to close it you need orangutan hands mm, arms I mean oh there 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 oh hi I overestimated the length as usual there there so but okay just fabric here but you have pretty good headroom here I don't remember how it was in the 208 but uh, could be that this one has better headroom noise just like the E28 you have this instrument cluster which is 3Ds, there's even a move here, you see that some of the, the yeah, they, we have two layers. So that's, that's a cool effect. I like it. It's like acid, oh yeah, oh yeah, I like to provoke people. But anyway, and also, when you put the car in reverse, well, let, me, let me go forward first, I'm gonna show you this. So the same here, you see, pay attention to this one. It has just a backup camera, it doesn't have side cameras, but it does that trick by virtually creating 3d in a very smart way i wish my tesla had it <laughs> so that's pretty cool yeah just like the e28 but yeah other than that uh the car is not that much different than the e28 so you can watch the e28 video if you want to know more about this and here we have also rails for roof racks you can put bicycle or ski box or whatever here very nice and uh, uh, I think that will be it, this short review, because these cars are not, I mean, the, the 208 and the 2008 isn't that much different. But uh, which one would I go for? Because that's probably something you guys are wondering. Uh, would you buy the 208 or the 2008? For me, I like that extra space the 2008 gives me. I felt like the 208 was a little bit too compact. But again, this depends on what your needs are. Uh, and also when it comes to noise, when I measured the 208, it was quite noisy, but the 2008 feels like more like the DS3. It's actually noise-wise, it's better than the DS3. And you know, in Norway, we have very rough tarmac, so I appreciate that nice soundproofing. And when it comes to the ride, the ride on the 2008 is softer. It's a little bit more, well, I wouldn't call it an SUV, but like a, like a crossover. But on the other hand, the ride is nice. It's the ride I feel like I like this ride better than the Korean cars. The Korean like Kona is a little bit too too bouncy. This one is comfortable, but not at the same level as uh, e-tron or iPace, of course. But in my opinion, it's better, softer, more space, quieter, 
but more expensive. For 2008, you have to pay about 32,000 nook more. So that's about 10% of the price, or 10% higher than the 208. So, but for me, I would stretch it to go for the 2008. Might not be for you, so that's something you have to decide. So, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.